In this lesson, we're going to cover the integrals of hyperbolic functions. So if you have a sheet of paper, you want to take some notes, let's go ahead and begin. The indefinite integral of hyperbolic cosine is hyperbolic sine. It's the opposite of the derivatives. The derivative of hyperbolic sine is cosine. The antiderivative of hyperbolic sine is hyperbolic cosine plus c. Now for hyperbolic secant, it's going to be hyperbolic tangent plus c. And for the integral of hyperbolic cosecant squared is going to be negative cotangent. The integral of secant tan is negative secant. And the indefinite integral of hyperbolic cosecant cotangent is negative cosecant. So those are some integrals of hyperbolic functions that you want to be familiar with. So let's work on a few examples. What is the indefinite integral of hyperbolic cosine 2x dx? Feel free to try that problem. The integral of hyperbolic cosine is going to be hyperbolic sine 2x. Now this is a linear function. All we need to do is we need to divide, divide our answer by the derivative of this linear function. The derivative of 2x is going to be 2. And then we need to add the constant of integration. So that's going to be the answer. It's 1 half hyperbolic sine of 2x plus c. Try this one. Find the indefinite integral of hyperbolic sine 5x plus 4. The integral of hyperbolic sine is going to be hyperbolic cosine. The inside part is going to be the same. Now because we have a linear function, we could simply divide by the derivative of 5x plus 4. The derivative of 5x is 5. The derivative of the constant 4 is 0. So this is just going to be 5, and then plus the constant c. Now let's move on to the next example. What is the indefinite integral of hyperbolic cotangent? Let's make this cotangent of x. Go ahead and try that problem. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to rewrite cotangent as cosine over sine. And of course we have a dx here. Now we have two functions in a fraction. So one thing that we want to try to do is we want to try to use u substitution. Let's make u equal to hyperbolic sine. du the derivative of u is going to be the derivative of hyperbolic sine, which is hyperbolic cosine. And then it's going to be times dx. So we can replace hyperbolic cosine times dx with du because they're equal to each other. We could also replace hyperbolic sine with u because they're also equivalent to each other. So we have this which we can write it as 1 over u du. The antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural log of u. And of course, we'll have our constant of integration, c. At this point, we can replace the u variable with what it equals, which is sine. So the final answer is the natural log of hyperbolic sine of x plus c. 
So that is the antiderivative of hyperbolic cotangent. Now let's try this problem. Let's integrate the cube of hyperbolic secant times hyperbolic tangent. The derivative of tangent will give us secant squared, not secant cubed. So we don't want to do that. But the derivative of u, I mean the derivative of secant, gives us secant tangent. So we want to make u, the u variable, equal to secant. Because doing so, once we differentiate u to get du, this will give us secant tan. But we need to pay attention to something. And that is that there's a negative sign here. Because for the regular trig functions, the derivative of secant is secant tan, positive secant tan. But for the hyperbolic functions, the derivative of hyperbolic secant is negative hyperbolic secant times tangent. So we want to be mindful of that negative sign. Now, I need to rewrite this such that I can get rid of a secant tan. So I'm going to rewrite this as secant squared and then secant tangent. Now I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So I get negative du is equal to positive secant tangent dx. So at this point, I can replace hyperbolic secant tangent dx with negative du because they are equivalent to each other. And I can replace secant squared with u squared since u is equal to secant. So this is going to be u squared times negative du, which we could say this is the integral of neg negative integral of u squared du. Using the power rule, that's going to be u to the third over 3, and then plus c. So this is negative 1 third, and we can replace u with secant. So it's going to be secant, hyperbolic secant, to the third power of x plus c. So this is our final answer using u substitution. So now you know how to integrate some common hyperbolic functions.